As we begin our discussion on word problems, the, f the most difficult part is taking words and writing them as algebraic expressions. We have to know what certain words mean and how we translate those words. Some of the most common words we see will be sum. What does the word sum mean? Sum means that we're doing addition. A lot of times we'll also see the phrase more than. We'll see that phrase come up a lot, more than. If I see the word difference, what does that mean? That means subtraction. You may also see the phrase less than. Now be very careful about this. The phrases more than and less than have a very particular order to them. I want to make sure we understand the correct order there. And not that you'll be seeing it too much now, but the word product means what? It means multiplication. And so since we're dealing with variables, this is why we kind of stop using the St. Andrew's cross multiplication when we use the raised dot. And when we see the word quotient, that's going to indicate what? It, it means division. It's the last thing we have there is division. And then we'll see things uh, like this. Maybe is, phrases say is the same as, or amounts to, how would you translate that? Equals, Equals right? Because we'll, we'll have these sentences, and we'll have to take the is, is the same as, and we'll have to convert that to an equal sign. We will be creating our own equations. <coughs> and then we also need to be able to convert something like this. If I say something like some number or the missing or unknown number, how might you translate that? How might you write some number, a number that you don't know? Maybe you write X? You write a variable x, sometimes you may use n. It doesn't really matter. You're just picking a variable because you don't know what this value is, but you want to have some kind of placeholder for it. So we use a variable for that. And what we do is we take these words, and we take these expressions, and we create algebraic expressions from this. If I were to say the sum the sum of a number and 11. How would you write the sum of a number and 11? What's the first math word you see? Sum, right? What does the word sum mean? It means addition. Now, here's what you need to understand. Up above, when I've got these main operators here, when I talk about sum, difference, product, quotient, excuse me, you will also be looking for the word and. And tells you where that operator symbol actually goes among all the words. So when I see the sum of a number in 11, here's the word and. That tells me where my addition for the sum goes. What comes before the word and? What do you see before the word and? A number. How do you write a number? X. What comes after the word and? And so you write 11 just like this. So that's the sum. That's the sum of what two pieces? A number and 11. That's how you write that. Just like if I were to write this. The difference of 10 and a number. The difference of 10 and a number. What's the first math word you see? Is difference. Difference means what? So I'm going to put my subtraction symbol here, and then I immediately look for the word and. 
because the word and will help me separate the left and the right part of the difference. So here's the word and. What comes before the word and? Ten. So before the subtraction symbol, I write 10. What do I write after the subtraction symbol? Just x. Do not, do not think that the word and means addition. What word means addition? Sum or add. I've got the word, or yeah, or the phrase more than. I've got the word difference, which means subtraction. The word and here is where that subtraction symbol goes among the words. Are you with me on that? You have to be very careful about how you read these problems. If I say this, six, six more than a number. The first math word I see here is what? Well, the first math word I see is six. But it says six more than. That means I'm doing what? Adding. That means I'm, what am I adding? Six. I'm adding six to something, right? Think about what you just told me. You said, I'm adding six. So I'm adding six, and I say, to what are you adding six? You're adding six to? a number. Six more than means you're adding six to a number. So Dennis, if I say that you make six dollars more than me, that means you would take my money, say X, and you would do what? Add six and you have your money, right? Because it's six more than me. Do you all agree with that? Now if you agree with that, then watch this next phrasing. If I say, five less than some number. I see five less than, so what does that mean I'm doing? What am I subtracting? If that means I'm subtracting five, that means I'm taking five away from something, right? That does not mean five minus. That means five. you're taking away five, five less than that, right? You're taking five away from what? Some number which we will represent by x. Please understand that there is a commutative property for addition. Commutative property for addition says that this guy does equal 6 plus x. That is true. Although this is the preferred way for writing it because of the order of the words. And because if you say 5 minus x here, that is wrong. There is no commutative property for subtraction. So if you have those flipped and they're on the wrong side of the subtraction, then you're wrong, and that'll mess up everything else that you do after that. So, the five less than means I'm taking five away from, in this case, some number. 